This is a quick tutorial on how to select black line work from a white background so you get a perfect selection. This is an image that I created. It features three different kinds of mark making, clean line work, cross hatching, and continuous tone. First thing to do is to crop out any extra part of the image. Let's zoom in. Next thing is to change the color mode from RGB to grayscale. Then adjust the levels so that it's a bit more contrasty. Get rid of those gray pixels. Nice and clean. Select the entire background layer. and we're going to copy the background layer. And then we'll delete it by filling the background layer with white. Now go to your channels, create a new channel, a new alpha channel, and then let's paste the image from the clipboard into the new alpha channel. Turn that off by just clicking on the gray channel. Your background should be white. Go back to layers. And create a new layer. To be safe, let's call this new layer line art. And then go to select and load selection and choose the alpha channel that you created. You can see the marching ants. Now we want to fill this with black. You can see I made a slight mistake. The area that was selected was the white. This is a very easy fix. Go to your history channel, history palette, and step back so that you have the marching ants, and this time select inverse. Now the marching ants are selected in the line art. Fill that with black. And you can see that we have the original artwork with all of the detail. Turn off the background layer and you can see how much detail you have and how effective it is. But let's really show this off. Change the color mode back to RGB. And let's paint on the background behind the line work. Let's choose a nice bright color. Red will be fine. Grab your brush. And just paint behind there. And you can see that we are not affecting the line work on the layer above at all. But to really show this off, let's click on the line work layer and lock the transparency. And then choose another color. I'll just choose green. And let's paint on that layer. And you can see that you can really edit the color of your line work very specifically because this doesn't touch the background layer at all. Let's zoom in and you can see how effective this process is.